Hello, UGCS pilots, and welcome to UGCS webinar of joystick usage. My name is Dimitri, and I'm UGCS support engineer. If you like flying your drone with joystick, we've got something just for you. UGCS supports most of the controllers. Pick one of your choice and connect it to a laptop. If you're connecting for the first time, wait for the system to detect it or install the drivers manually. UGCS should detect it automatically. Let's create a route and send the drone airborne. Where is my simulator? I'm going to use simulator this time. Let me find it. Yep, simulator. Next. Let me send my drone airborne. Here we go. The drone's rising. You can switch to joystick mode anytime on your PC. To do this, click joystick and click OK. Keep in mind that when you're doing in real life, you'll need to switch and on the Android device also, you'll get this type of picture. Let me show you. You see the red joystick button there in the bottom of the screen? I don't think so. Let me check, hold on a second. So that's what you're gonna get on your Android device. You'll need to click the red joystick button. Hope you can see it right now. See the red button on the Android device? You should click it and it should turn green. This is how it's going to look like. Here we go. Now, now let me switch back to UGCS. I will control the drone with a joystick. Right now it moves manually. Oh, the, when you switch into joystick mode, the drone will stop the mission and hover where it is. Click, or now click the keyboard icon on the top of the screen, the input mapping to adjust the joystick settings. Uncheck the keyboard box. You won't need uh, the keyboard settings for now. Now, select what you're mainly going to control the, with the joystick, vehicle or payload. I'm choosing the vehicle for now and we'll show you the payload setting later. Now the icons to the right shows current choice, vehicle control or payload control. Choosing vehicle, it shows vehicle. Choosing payloads, it shows payloads. As you can see, UGCS detected four axes out of six I have in my joystick. Pitch, roll, elevation, and yaw. The rest are the possible actions I can assign to two of the left axes. Let's take a cl closer look at pitch parameter. Click on it once. The two main parameters are input and output. Input represents how much force you apply to the joystick. Output represents how this force will affect the throttle. Min, zero, and max parameters represent the throttle output. More the number, the less output you receive. For instance, with min and max parameter set to minus one as one correspondingly, by default. The drone will fly at full throttle. And if you set it to minus three and three, for instance, let me show you. It will only give about 30% of the speed. Right now, 
I'm pushing the joystick forward all the way, and it gives me only 0 0.3 throttle output, as you see. Input, 100 output, 0 0.33. Zero represents the state of rest. Let's switch it back to default settings. Nonlinear option allows changing, changing the throttle sensitivity. If it is set to zero, the throttling will be linear. In other words, the further you push, the faster the drone flies. Let's set it to 0 0.5. You can see that the uh, throttle cubic parabola has changed. So the drone will accelerate much slower at the beginning. And the further you push, the faster it will fly. Take a look at the input, per input and output parameters. I'll slowly push uh, it forward, so you should be able to see how they change in accordance to each other. Dead zone. Dead zone ignores part of the axis. If it's set to zero, the axis is used to control the vehicle all the way. And if you set it to 0 0.5, for instance, let me show you. Only, only the last half of the axis is going to be used. Pushing the joystick halfway will not affect the drone. You can see that I'm slowly pushing the joystick forward and it shows 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 input force, and output is still zero. Until I reach about halfway of the joystick axis, then the output will increase tremendously. Invert checkbox allows you to invert the control. You can also add action buttons to reach the minimum and maximum throttle with just one click. Click the little plus icon under the men on our max sign and click the desired button on the joystick. Then click apply. Now by pressing the button number three, as I detected, the drone will move at full throttle instantaneously. Pressing the button, Activation button uh, is basically the button to activate the axis. Axis is active by default if no button is specified. Calibrating these parameters, we have created the drone control profile. We can now add several payload actions. As you remember, I have six axis joystick, so I don't have much of a choice what to control besides vehicle. I'm going to use joystick HUD to control yaw and zoom of the installed camera. Let me just delete everything to default. Now I'm going to save. No, nope, not saving anything. Select the payload one yaw first. My camera is set to payload one. Yours might be different. So selecting payload one yaw. So selecting payload one yaw, selecting my joystick and clicking add access. Now I need to press the joystick hot, left or right. As you can see, UGCS detected access five. Clicking apply and testing it by moving the hot left and right. It works. As you can see, the payload yaw parameter now reacts to the hot movement, saving the settings. You can do the same thing with the payload one zoom parameter. Just watch out not to use the same axis for two completely different actions. You can see the number of axes used in the window, this one. Axis one, two, four, etc. 
You can always remap it however you want by selecting it and deleting the axis. Click on the desired action once, click the trash icon, yes, and save. Remap it the way I described earlier. In this particular presentation, I just showed how to set up the drone control and camera control for one joystick, but you always can create two different profiles for drone and payload control and select between them at any time. Hope this presentation will help you setting up your personal favorite controller, allowing you even safer and more pleasant flights. Now let me see if there's some unanswered questions and I wish you all a great day. Thank you. I see a question whether we recommend Logitech joystick. No, it's not necessary to be a Logitech. Pretty much anything you like will work. Another question from Steven Bouguer. Uh, if you assign the gimbal to any joystick axis, yes, it, sh it should work. I mean, when turning the joystick, the gimbal should work. It should turn in, according, in accordance. Well, I guess the rest of the questions will be answered offline. We'll publish this presentation on our YouTube channel, which is UGCS TV. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.